Hello, welcome to Books with Laura. Today we're talking about the Usborne Flatbook C Inside Energy. It is a flatbook with over 65 flaps. I don't think this is available in the US um, or if it will be at any point. I'll try to find an Amazon link for it below. But just like all uh, Usborne, even if they're flat books, any nonfiction that Usborne has, they always have experts that they go to to uh, make sure that all the information that they're presenting is scientifically factual. They just have great nonfiction. I love Usborne books. So what is energy? Most scientists think all energy in the whole universe was created in an explosion called the Big Bang. Then it has some really fun cutouts to lift there. Energy is everywhere. Energy is constantly flowing through the world, changing from one type to another. Follow the yellow arrows to see how. So then it talks about the sun. Um, now this is a very complex science book. So this may be geared more towards older kids, at least uh, I'm thinking around ages 10, because they talk about um, nuclear, nuclear fission. So I can barely even pronounce it. And uh, just the different ways that the information is presented, although it is presented in you know, as, as um, layman's terms as possible, still very complex ideas. So take a look at this spread, energy from the ground. And it has big flaps, the whole page is left out. So it's a whole very busy four page spread about turning fossils into fuels. Our lives require constant energy and all that energy has to come from somewhere. So then it shows you cooling towers and oil tanks and coal power stations. Here's the oil refinery. There we go. We're going to close that one up and look at this one. It's a very busy spread with a lot of information, but they still present it in little pockets so that kids don't get overwhelmed with the information. But there is a lot to see here and a lot to discuss with your kids. energy into atoms. See, nuclear fish, fission. Why do I have such a hard time saying that word? <laughs> He's talking about radioactive. It explains how nuclear fission works. This is a fusion machine called ITER. It is being built in France. Energy from nature. There's a water wheel, a dam. Wind turbines. Nature's energy for the future. Scientists are always exploring new ways to harness enough energy to power the whole world, especially with renewable sources that don't damage the planet and won't run out. Here are some of their ideas. Solar farms, wind turbines, um, solar panel satellites. Energy from our lives. Oh, my son was really impressed with this. Scientists have experimented with shoes that generate electricity as you move. He, was, he really liked that. Okay, well, that's it. So that's C inside energy. I'll try to find the link below for you guys. Thanks for watching.